Hey guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another boomage video. In today's video, guys, we're going to focus on 70 yards and what you guys need to know going into the final weekend of uh, the season. So, this is season 36 or season 59, however you want to slice it. And it looks to be 70 yard is definitely where you want to finish up because the, the problem with not going seven, some seasons it's always a question, right? Whether we want to stay as a dirty six or complete the tech tree and go to 70 yard. 70 yard is definitely better in the way to go because once you get the troop health, you can really start to smoke those sixes. Now, things have been a little bit dicey since then, but uh, I also would not necessarily recommend copying this base. I can't fully vouch for it. I got up to, we got close to 22 with it. I think I was, what, 20, uh, yeah, 21.65 on a win streak, and then, of course, we started losing, but um, that's just how the, uh, the, uh, the way warships goes. So... Here's what we've got. Now, I think if you are going to go 7, my advice would be to get the defensive building damage first. Um, because without that, I found it's, you know, not much of an advantage going 7. Um, and then after that, we've got some decisions to make. So, what I did today was, I, I was 4 keys shy of getting the DVD. So, what I did instead was I backtracked. And actually, that uh, that barrage and artillery is actually looking pretty pretty tasty, so that might be the better way to go. But what I did was I backtracked for the extra GBE, and um, where where was it? The One of the first ones. So it was 20 GBE, so I think my next chest I can get DVD and boom mines, which is probably what I'll do, rather than going for the artillery and the barrage. We'll see if that does help us out. But um, yeah, so that's the tech. That's the crappy base. And let's go over some of these hits. So, uh, do we have any good times here? Now, in terms of times, um, this is probably my best time. Was this a six? Okay. So, in terms of times on sevens, it's really, um, well, number one, it's really annoying because these battles go all the way to like a minute 30, um, and then you end up losing by two seconds, which is never fun. But, um, yeah, for the most part, if you're in that kind of, I don't know. You want to aim for two minutes. Two minutes is a really good time. But if not, like 147, I would say, is a decent time. Below that, then it's 50-50. You're either going to win or lose. So here's how I've been doing them recently. This, you know, um, what I like to do is I like to send one heavy chopper, one bomber on this left side. Make sure you flare that mortar because it will one-shot your bombardiers if you're not careful. Um, so what's nice about the, doing that is these guys will go up. They'll take out this engine. Then we go 3-3 three, three over here with the idea being they go up here, they've got enough troops, they take out the sky shield, and they're going to take out the middle stuff on the way. Then we can flare Hail Mary over on this side. And, you know, if we can grab the rocket or the shock after there, then that's just bonus. But let's watch how this plays out here. So um, three heavy choppers, three bombardiers on that other side. And Kavan is king at 70R. That's the hero that you want to be using. Uh, Bullet is the king of 6R. Kavan is the king of 7 yeah, just for a spread base, you know, a heavy chopper bomber, come on, it's just like peanut butter and jelly. I mean, especially if you, uh, well, you should go back and max out your rifleman too. Um, if you are using come on at all, it's just going to make the attack better. But, um, yeah, so you can see right here, they get through the left side, no problem. And we're moving pretty quickly through that right side. Now, everyone's going to have Doom Cannon, Shock Blaster, and potentially a Grappler as well. Um, and a Sky Shield. So, just something to keep in mind, there's a lot of really good protos out there. So, this ended up working really well because the split just kind of went perfectly, even though Kavon died. Um, yeah, actually, usually when Kavon dies, the attack's over, so I'm not sure how we were able to uh, to figure that out, but let's just see here. So, still cleaning up on the left and then getting some work done on the right. And then the good news is, since we kind of split our troops up, looking at this this base specifically, I think we would have been fine to go 2-2. You know, that probably worked would have worked out a lot better. Um, but yeah, there wasn't a ton of troops left on the, uh, on the left side, but there wasn't a bunch of defenses either. So it ended up working pretty well. We got a really nice split and that's just a way if you go one, one left and then three, three, right, you can kind of force them to split that way. Cause you know, the troops on the right, uh, what you don't have happen is for these troops, like this amount of troops to go over on the right side with the sky shield, that would not be, uh, 
That would not be ideal, because the shock launcher would eventually pick them off as they scramble around shooting at god knows what. Um, yeah. So, we were able to go through there, and then we can flare in the very end. And, you know, I'm surprised we got a decent... Was that the two-minute time? Is that the two-minute time? Um, no. Yeah, strange. So, I don't know, we ended up crushing it without Kabon, go figure. Um, so let's show you the 6 here. Now this is with Troop Hell. Now I've just been doing this every single time I go up against the 6 and I have not lost yet doing it. So, you know, I, I would definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't already. So it's just the Heavy Chopper, Rocket Chopper. It's the same hit we've been doing. Nothing fancy, nothing special about it at all. Um, I did change one thing about it though. I stopped worrying about this kind of stuff around here. Um, because it just doesn't target anything. Like they move too fast, they're out of the way, they're out of range. Um, but what does kill them is this stuff back here. So that's worth throwing a shock down, especially with the extra GB. The troop health combined with that first GB node, maxing both of those out, made six ERs a breeze. This especially, I was doing them with troop health at first, and there was still a couple I fizzled on because I just struggled against this base. This one was tough for me. Um, but once I added the GB on top of the troop health, it was easy breezy lemon squeezy. We weren't struggling at all. Um, because you have those extra shocks, you have that extra, you know, you can tank a couple more rocket hits, and it just makes it go that much better. It's funny to think that we're finishing, you know, potentially finishing these attacks on, um, 6 ER bases, and we also started the season on 6 ER bases, which is kind of crazy, but, um, but yeah. So then we just get through here, get to the very end, uh, bullet is still alive for a little bit, and then we're just shocky shocky and then make sure you flare at the very end just to save a little bit extra time so let's try live one let's try live one i don't know how it's gonna go um but yeah so what i've been doing on some of these spread bases at 70 yards too is i like four four heavy choppers all, all on one side um that also works if you don't want to do the or depending on the engine layout like maybe sometimes it doesn't always work to put one engine or one heavy chopper one bombardier on that side and also the DBD right here, this is kind of why I stopped pushing because I just, I kept losing by 10 seconds to the DBD bases and it was really annoying. So um, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go one, one, two, and we're gonna wait here a sec. We're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm gonna do the same hit here just because he's got the DBD. So it's gonna be a little bit tougher to walk through the whole base. Um, Let's go ahead and shock this Doom Cannon. I think he's going to be somewhat in range soon. Did... Oh. Ooh, that was close. Uh, I thought the Graveler grabbed the Bomb Deer. I was like, what? But it was... Uh, he got clipped by the Mortar. Thankfully, we only lost one, so not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be an uphill battle for two reasons. He's got the DVD, and he's got Boom Lines. Um, so that's going to be a little bit tougher to deal with. Um, but you'll see right here, it's nothing we can't handle as long as Kavon doesn't die right there. Let's throw another second wind down. I think he died. He died and I used my second wind, so I don't think I got that GBE back. And that was just kind of the worst possible scenario there, but that's alright. As we saw before, we're able to win technically without Kavon sometimes, so... Um, yeah, this doesn't look good, guys. This does not look good. But we had to go back and at some point get our next chest, so. Oof. You're eating it in this one, guys. Yeah, let's go flamethrower. Let's go this way. I think I could throw a shock in here. Yeah, those guys are moving kind of weird. Alright, so now we're free clearing. Medkits would also be kind of a nice choice. Um... But I consider medkits more of a luxury than, like, a necessity. I feel like you shouldn't always need medkits. Yeah, he's gonna go down. Let's throw this in for the, um, shock launcher. Okay. Love for you guys to target that sky shield, that'd be great. But we're going to be a very long time before we finish this one off. So let's go ahead and shock there. And we still got two engines on this side. We got a free clear it off because we don't have enough troops left. So, not ideal. Not ideal. But at least, hey, we're uh, clearing engines and we'll be quick to get our chests. So, 
Hopefully that uh, gets us moving in the right direction. Yeah, he's going to go 3 two, 1 but, uh, yeah. I think we're going to have to use critters here to take out these mines. I'm thinking. I'd love for one of those heavy choppers to go down. We could use some extra heavies on the field. Yeah, he's got us dead to rights. And this was an extremely slow attack. I mean, we almost fizzled, so that's not that's obviously not good. But you see what a difference just the uh, the DVD makes. And let's make sure we at least get our chest stuff. There we go. So, yeah. Not the best hit, but hopefully that gives you guys some ideas of what to do at 70 yards. Um, just try to pull your head off a little bit better than I did there. Kavon dying early on, that's never, never going to be a good thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or for Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Bear, bear.